Hey guys, what is going on? Draven here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Metal Fan Reaction here this fine Thursday morning. Couple major things to talk about before we get into the reaction. Firstly, uh, Sabaton has announced that they're releasing the live uh, show that they did with the Russian artist Radio that they did Attack of the Dead Men. They originally released Attack of the Dead Men uh, to this artist known as Radio who sang the song in Russian first before Sabaton released their English version of the song. And they posted that they're going to be po that they they posted that they're going to be uh, posting or releasing the live show from that and I'm curious to see how it's going to look. I will try to do a reaction to it or at least bring it up in a future video. Uh, but we'll see with it being a live show. I've been having some problems with doing live show reactions. Uh, so I may not be able to do a reaction to it. But that will be posted. I believe it's coming up here on the 9th. Which I believe is tomorrow. Um, so I'll look forward to that. We'll see if I'll be able to get a reaction to that. Secondly, uh, this is Thursday. So Sabaton has released the... Sabaton History Part 3 of Soldiers of Three Army. Uh, so they got released today, so I'm going to do a recording of that, and that will be up on my channel by Saturday. So make sure you guys take a look at that. Super excited to see the conclusion of it. They did a three-part series. Uh, if you've been paying attention or if you've been here since the beginning, I did Part 1 uh, two Saturdays ago, Part 2 uh, last Saturday, and so Part 3 will be this coming up Saturday. So I'm excited to do a reaction to that. And lastly, sadly, if you guys, uh, again, have been here since the beginning, uh, my 40 to 1 whack in 2019 video is officially gone. Um, lost the debate between the production company and them allowing it on my channel. They did allow it for like a brief couple days. But then they were told, I got an email. Basically, I mean, the guys were really super nice about it, but I got an email saying, hey... We originally said it was okay, but the higher up said it's not okay. So um, they ultimately deleted the video. Um, so I may try to do another live reaction. Uh, it's just harder when it gets blocked like it did. So if I do do one, it may be super edited or the video might be a little smaller or I might be pausing it more. I'm not too sure how uh, other YouTube artists do it without getting blocked. But uh if you guys have any suggestions on how I could do it, let me know in the comment section below. Either way, guys, I'm going to do something a little differently uh, for today's reaction. I'm going to change up the overlay, and I am probably going to not have the video be the full size of the video. Again, trying to get around um, potentially the copyright issues that I was running into. Um, not too sure exactly how I'm going to do it. Not too sure... How much of the video I will edit. Um, but I just want to give you guys a heads up that I will be doing that. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into this live reaction of Sabaton. Super excited to get into it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, as always, like, comment, subscribe. And let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to try something a little different. I changed up the overlay a little bit. Let me know if you guys like this better or if you prefer when I have the overlay graphics. Uh, like I said, I don't want to get a copyright strike again and ruin the video. Uh, so we're gonna be doing Sabaton Primo Victoria Live at Woodstock 2012. Uh, I really enjoy watching the Sabaton Live concerts because it makes me really wanna get to a concert. So hopefully I'll be able to get to one in October when they go to Salt Lake and Vegas. Uh, they go to Salt Lake first and then Vegas and they're both about the equal distance drive for me. It's about an eight hour drive either, either way. Um, so I'll be trying to go to both of them or either of them and my eye is really itchy. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My eye got really itchy for some reason. Um, so, anyways, this is going to be Sabaton Primo Victoria. I will do everything I can to make sure this video doesn't get uh, flagged. Uh, so, that's why the overlays changed a little bit, made my camera a little bit more of the video. But either way, guys, let's jump right into it. Sabaton Primo Victoria. It's another great song from Sabaton. Through the gates of hell. Ah, uh, what a crowd. God, this is such a gnarly crowd. It 
if you guys were able to catch my 40 to 1 live at uh, the WAC in 2019, I did mention a couple times about uh, mosh pitting. And I was debating about doing like a top 5 favorite mosh pitch or just reviewing the top 10 uh, best mosh pitch video that's around on YouTube. Um, I have a huge, I don't want to say huge opinion. Um, I have a very critique opinion of mosh pitch. And there's some mosh pits that I absolutely hate. And so I, I hate watching certain concerts when they have terrible mosh pits. Either the people in the mosh pit are terrible and they do the arm swinging thing. Or they're not mosh pitting. Um, so I, I know I did a little bit critiquing with the 40 to 1 song. Um, but with a huge audience like this, it's crazy to see how much the audience is super into the song. It's just awesome to see. And it makes me really want to go to a Sabaton concert. <laughs> Ah, uh, just look at that audience. Jesus. I was told by, I believe you guys, that Prima Victoria uh, had World of Tanks, Tanks in it. Uh, World of Tanks is a video game uh, that is about tank battles, basically. Um, and I worked for War Games at one point in life about four or five years ago, and we put on World of Tank tournaments. And at the time, it, it, it was a great, great game. It was a lot of fun. There's World of Planes now, and I believe there's a World of Warships. Um, but World of Tanks was a really fun game to watch in terms of an esport or in terms of a tournament. If you guys haven't checked it out, uh, there's going to be, I'm sure I'll put videos up. Um, but it was a lot of fun doing stuff like that. So it was kind of cool seeing a band cover a song or it was a band covering a game like that. Uh, I always enjoy when band mates and band members get into video games because I'm huge into video games like I mentioned before in my past videos I made a career out of esports and so um super into video games and stuff like that I've actually been on eight nine potentially ten different podcasts uh related to uh video games and esports of course my job working or was my job working for esports and uh did video broadcasting and stuff like that for video games um so this song kind of reminds me even when I listen to it outside of watching the music video, it reminds me a lot of World of Tanks, and I really enjoy that. God, just look at that crowd, man. Oh my god, it's so crazy. To see huge crowds like that, we don't have that in uh, California. Not huge shows like that. So I do want to pause it real quick in between the solo. I know it's really frustrating when I pause in between solos. That's what got me uh, flagged um, on the 40 to 1, the WAC in 2019. It was during the solo. And I found out through more details. It was actually because of the, um, it wasn't because of the audio. It was because of the visuals of the stage. Um, again, I wish there was a way I could guarantee that this won't get flagged and this won't get removed because i do put some time into these videos and it does take me about two hours per video 
to record them, edit them, upload them, graphic them, and all stuff like that. Um, so it is a bummer when I do all that work and it gets removed. I mean, like I mentioned before, I don't make any money off these videos. I don't run any ads. Any ads that get run automatically get sent to Sabaton or whoever does the claim on the video. Uh, so I rely heavily on um, Twitch subscribers. So I stream video games onto Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Draven. It's in the description. Uh, if you feel like supporting it, of course, always just, you know, you, you can subscribe to Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime, it's free. Um, but regardless, it was, that's what, the, that clip, it was about two and a half minutes of the 40 to 1 at the WAC in 2019 that got flagged. Um, and it was during the guitar solo. It was during when I was asking about the chorus guys in the background and where someone mentioned that it's all different uniforms. That's what got flagged. Um, so it's a bummer. But technically, the, the songs are copywritten. And this solo is technically this guy he wrote this song so this is this is their stuff that i'm reacting to so it's a bummer that i'm just reacting to it i'm not trying to steal their their content of course and we all know it's sabaton and we all know you know that i'm not claiming this as my own um but it is a bummer youtube is what it is you know the media guys who claim the video super nice people they apologized but they said they had to do it and i was like no problem thank you guys so much i even appreciate the fact that they even reached out to me because they could just ripped the video, deleted it without ever emailing me. But uh, So I appreciate that they actually sent out an email. And uh, they said they, they enjoy my other videos. So at least they, they, they at least they, I know that they watched it. Um, but rant. And this is such a crazy audience. So crazy. That's so crazy. Look at that shot. Oh my gosh. That is such an audience. That's so awesome. I don't see that much mosh pitting though. That's kind of was a bummer. If I see these guys, I'll start a mosh pit. I'll be the first one in it. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. What a great song there from Sabaton. Love their live shows. Absolutely love their live shows. I can't wait to go to a live show. Like I mentioned, there's one in Vegas and there's one in Salt Lake City there in Utah. So Vegas and Nevada and Salt Lake in Utah. Um, it's coming here in October. I would love to be able to go to it. They haven't canceled it yet. Um, but we'll see with everything that's going on. So we'll hopefully be able to go to it. And if I do end up going, I'll do everything I can to get try to get backstage or meet the band or do whatever I can. Uh, from my understanding, they're playing with Judas Priest. So I'll be excited to see if they do duet songs together and all that. Um, but anyway, guys, let me know um, what you think of the video. Also, I do need your feedback on the overlay without having the normal overlay with the camera in the corner and stuff like that. Again, I'm trying to make sure I don't get this copy striked again. Um, so I'm playing around with different overlays. So I need you to tell me what you guys prefer or like, and I'll do everything I can to adjust and make it right. Um, without further ado, guys, thank you again so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. You have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Wash your hands. And don't forget that uh, Saturday I will be doing the Sabaton reaction to Soldiers of the Three Army Part 3. Thank you guys again. You have a wonderful day. Peace.